This is the uh, back of the orchid house at the Mary Selby Botanical Garden, and I just noticed this giant filter in here, and it's really impressive because this is the swamp cooler, and we have a little tiny personal one at home, but this thing is massive. What it is is the uh, water. You can see it more over here. My camera doesn't zoom, so I have to get close, uh, put, put it closer. The water goes through these filter panels, and then the fans, there's a fan over there, pushes the water through the filter, which causes evaporation and cooling and humidity inside this greenhouse. And this is just huge. That's really cool. And we're in Sarasota, so we're on the water. And there's Chris. Hi, baby! <laughs> oh, I see a walkway and the water birds. A great blue heron and a female and hinga. Big, huge palm tree. Florida Royal Palm, Restonia Alada. Goes way up there, and this giant frond fell off of it. This thing is huge. <laughs> it feels really smooth and hard. Fruit where? Oh, I didn't even see those. Let's see. look that up, see what that is. I don't know what this is, but it's cool. See if we can find it. Oh, the fruits are from this tree, but it's unlabeled. <laughs> I'll have to look it up. I don't see another tree similar that is labeled. So, I don't know. This is kind of cool. We're on the other side of that, that pond I filmed earlier where the tree was, so we've got brackish water over here, which is a mix of fresh and salt water where the water birds are. And then on the other side, right there, we've got true salt water. So it's a really interesting, weird smell right now of swamp gas, swampy smell, and salt beach smell. It's gross and interesting all at the same time. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, scared out a great egret. Nothing too happy about it. <laughs> Alright, so here we are on the other side of the pond. We made it around. And uh, there's that mansion. And this goes into a circle that brings us back around. Black Rush, that's the long, reedy thing. Well, this is a cool. It's like a beam of some sort. I don't know. It's fuzzy and it's neat. And it's also unlabeled. The more interesting stuff gets overlooked sometimes. Mangroves. That round thing over there is a uh, sea grape. <laughs> Okay, these are bamboos on the pathway, and what's cool is that the wind's blowing through them. And if you listen, you can hear them creaking and hitting each other. Really cool. Amazing and, yeah. Cool. And a little creepy because you wonder if they're gonna fall on you. <laughs> okay, now that's a cool cool tree house. Too bad we can't go up there. It's like a, a pirate fort. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's neat. I wish we could go up there, but that's where the ladder ends. Okay, so that pirate fort looking thing is a research platform. America's first canopy research platform in a botanical garden. I still want to go up there and pretend I'm a pirate. Alright, now we're in a desert, desert garden. I'm not really big on cactus and things like that, but I do like agaves. And there's different kinds, but I spotted one. I guess that tree's kind of cool. Well, not tree, but cacti. What is this thing? Pachypodium lemariae. Cool. But that's what I wanted to see. I love the blue agave. That thing is enormous. Really neat. I wish they had the uh, the yellow agave, which can get just as big. And that one looks like an octopus when it's full grown. It's really neat. All right, I'm not really a fan of trees, but these are pretty cool. They're big, and we're at the top of this little boardwalk thing. What? <laughs> Koei pond and a big bell. Those are big koeis. Oh yeah, I gotta ring that. I got it. It's stuck over there. Yeah, they're big. Oh, it's got cow. <laughs> That's a cute one. Hello. You get a photo of me getting close to getting on a kiss. Yeah. All right, we're about to go into the uh, tropical display house. side of that giant uh, swamp cooler that I was talking about earlier. There's a, lots of cool orchids in here. And you can see the water falling through the uh, filters. Oh, this is a neat bubble thing for the air filtration. And, uh, Alright, and the main reason I came in here, I don't know too much about orchids and I'm not really interested, but there are small Nepenthes display. Small Nepenthes display, in case you didn't hear me over the door slamming. Uh, Nepenthes Miranda, kind of a common hybrid. And Nepenthes alata, it's nice to see one of these. Very pretty, really big plant in a hanging basket, and then Nepenthes truncata. This looks like the lowland type. The huge baby picture is about to open. That's really cool. Too bad they don't have bicalcarata. I saw someone had a picture of one from here, but I guess that they rotate them or something. Uh, 
about us. How big they are. Oh, they feel hard. That's cool. Alright, walk through the orchid house. There's a Indian display here. Very cool. More orchids. Employees only. This is probably where they're hiding all the best stuff. I bet there's Nepenthes in there. I bet that's where the Bicalcaratas are right now. So the person that took the picture on Flickr had a got lucky and was here during that part of the rotation. Oh, this thing is, I don't know if it's mislabeled or if it's really like this or what, but it says this is the chocolate tree. I thought chocolate was a small bean like coffee, but these are cool fruits. I don't know if that's the sign that goes with this one or what. This looks like a spaceship. Walking on through. I don't know what this fuzzy thing is. It is awesome. There's another one over there, like a giant tribble. They're really cool. Buddy would love to be here. Fellow INTJ. Sorry, dude, I forgot your name. Your screen name. I'm I suck at names, so I'll put a subtitle for you. You probably wouldn't know all this stuff is anyways. You know at work if they didn't have name tags, I wouldn't know who anybody was. Oh, we're back at the triple. That thing is huge. It's cool. I don't know what it is, but it's cool and flat and has giant flat leaves. <laughs> I came into the uh, a gift shop here, and I was hoping they would have Nepenthes, but they don't. I don't. At least I haven't seen them yet. But they have these uh, Saracenias. But the problem is, it just says Saracenia species, and I, d I don't know what they are. They all look like they're the same species, but I don't know what I'm getting. I'd like to know what they are. But there are a lot of orchids in here, but I came in here for any carnivorous plants. 